With a flash, Blaze was defeated, and Noob Saibot found he was no longer standing atop the ancient pyramid, but in the center of a darkened arena. From the shadows, a figure slowly emerged. It was Sub-Zero, the warrior Noob had been before being slain by Scorpion. Sub-Zero had come to regain control of their divided soul. The two clashed, but neither could best the other. In the end, what emerged was a being that was neither Noob Saibot nor Sub-Zero, but something new. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and if you didn't read the beginning of the video, there's not no clickbait, none of that shit. This is actually a video that I've been wanting to do. So, Mortal Kombat, like I said before in my other videos, is one of my favorite video games of all time. Played it since I was a kid, but we're not about to go into that intro, because you should know that by now. So today, I wanted to talk about another character who I hope is in the next Mortal Kombat game, but not just that, I hope that he actually plays a role in this game, and that's Noob Saibot. See, Noob Saibot is the first Sub-Zero for Mortal Kombat 1. He was killed off by Scorpion in the tournament, because Scorpion was, you know, blaming his the slaughter of his clan on Sub-Zero so he was like hey I'm headhunting for this nigga I'm coming for him I'm coming for that ass and he actually got what he wanted as a former member of the Lin Kuei you know people didn't know who he really was at at one point like okay who is this dude where is he from they say he's on another realm all that stuff later on down the line in Mortal Kombat games we come to find out it is the original Sub-Zero like I just said it's the original Sub-Zero that was sent to hell and he was reincarnated but people are wondering how is he reincarnated what made him come back and all that stuff well we're gonna get to that later on in the video but we're here to talk about his role in the next mortal kombat game now if you don't remember how he was killed off he first came back in mortal kombat 9 he played a big role in i guess mk deception because he was like the, he was a sub boss before he fought the dragon king i still haven't figured out why him and smoke were the sub bosses to uh dragon king but a i ain't making the game or nothing now there has been a lot of canon stuff that's canon from mortal kombat 9 for uh noob cybot and i think that in certain parts of the of the game some parts are true and some parts are false the first part is this part here is his ending for mortal kombat 9 and now he had made a deal with havoc to bring his people from the realm of chaos to the nether realm and let them take over the nether realm for the time being and that was you know that time being but take over like you know just cause chaos because the chaos realm is that's what it is just straight chaos and havoc was that was that guy that loved chaos now if y'all don't remember the other part that is also could be canon is noob cyborg getting kicked into the soul nato and if you don't remember in the last mortal kombat if you don't remember in deadly alliance and scorpions ending uh he was chasing after Quan Shi. he couldn't get to him he ended up fighting Dramon and Moloch and Dramon and Moloch ended up throwing him into the soul nato and letting the souls tear him apart now what people felt what Quan Shi and them failed to realize or did not know that the soul nato reached up to the heavens and the heavens were the elder gods and the elder gods re, re I can say restored scorpion and his being it was like hey do this favor for us the favor is we want you to go kill the dragon king the dragon king is the biggest threat to us and we're sending you back down to earth so you can kill the dragon king for us we will give you anything you want just kill this guy so i think the roles are going to be reversed in this game so i think noob cybot is going to be that guy that the elder gods you know they task him with this duty to kill the dragon king or kill Raiden because Raiden is now a threat so they're gonna send noob down and say hey kill the dragon king kill Liu Kang, kill katana kill um raiden and whatnot now the pe person that brought him back was Quan shi and shinnok part of the brotherhood of shadows and what they do is they you know they're all from hell pretty much uh the elder guy shinnok like you say he's a fallen elder guy he wanted to take over all the realms and he wanted to rule all of them with iron fist well yeah that wasn't that wasn't happening that wasn't sitting right with the elder god so they sent him down to the nether realm and he met Quan Shi and he took Quan Shi under his wing and it's like hey you're gonna be my predecessor you're gonna be my my pupil and all this stuff and you know we're gonna just 
wreak havoc on these realms and get what I deserve and that's the power and the amulet that he holds you know holds like immense power so whatever you know that's what Shinnok wanted to do so they made a little group called the Brotherhood of Shadow and that's what brought back Noob they needed people so they found hey, the, the lost soul of uh, Bihan who's the original Sub-Zero and it was like hey let's corrupt his soul and let's see if we can turn him onto the side of you know put him on our side and that's where the Brother of the Shadows kind of come into play with uh, Sub-Zero and makes him or Bihan I'm gonna stop calling him Sub-Zero call him Bihan and made him Noob Sidewatch now in this game like I said he got kicked into the Soul NATO and he was torn apart and the tornado got destroyed thanks to you know him re going to the heavens so he comes back and the first thing he does is he looks for smoke because you know smoke is a revenant now still and he's going by anemra at the moment so he talks smoke into here i'm going to help you you know get to you know maybe he just brainwashed them talks him into him joining them we get noob and smoke again we get that that cool that kick-ass tag team we got in deception and these guys work together to not just get rid of elder god raiden to get rid of luke Kane and katana hey shinnok might come back because you know shinnok's not really dead but he is you know head ripped off from his body so like i said luke Kane, raiden uh shinnok if he comes back the dragon king and i guess that is a katana katana too so you know that's that's a lot of people to fight and if this woman from the dream realm who can take over Jade's body is a threat, hell fuck, fight her too. So what they should do with Noob is they should give Noob both, not just his dark powers, but also give him like, you know, merge Sub-Zero and Noob's, Noob Cybot together and make a new whole new character. It can still be Noob Cybot, but just give him, you know, his old uh, freezing powers, you know, Cryomancy is what they call it. And give him that, put him back in the game and make him just a huge threat. Now, he goes and tries to recruit Smoke, but also he can go and recruit Sub-Zero. Like, hey, I'm going to kill Scorpion. Join me. He's the reason why I'm dead. He's the reason why I'm like this. You should avenge me. You're my brother and all that stuff. And his brother, you know, turned over a new leaf. You know, he ain't about that no more. He don't want to kill Scorpion no more. Matter of fact, he finds out that, you know, Scorpion and Sub-Zero had made a truce. So that pretty pisses Noob off. So Noob's like, all right, fine. Bet. I got you. So he goes get smoke and either they fight off Scorpion and Sub-Zero or they just fight off uh, this Sub-Zero himself. Then go after Scorpion. So pretty much the story would be like after he's done doing his duties for the Elder Gods, he's pretty much going to either say, hey, either you're, with, either you're with me or you're against me. Either you fight by my side as, you know, my brother and we go take down the threats of not just Earth Realm but all realms or... The consequences will be you know, fierce and swift. And when I mean fierce and swift, that's in like Noob is pretty much going to try to kill his own brother. And I do feel like that that might play in, play into this game. And hopefully that that does happen. Because if Noob does come back, I would like to see him team up with Smoke and fight Sub-Zero and Scorpion in a tag team type fight. You know, that'll be an epic fight. But hopefully, you know, we should get like two type of stories. You know, like you get one where uh, Sub-Zero actually does join Noob and smoke and as they're trying to kill scorpion he had learned the error of his ways he was like no we can't do this blah 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 blah. and scorpion's like oh you betrayed me i knew you were no you, i knew you wasn't shit and he fights off not just noobs noob and smoke but he also fights off sub-zero and it'd be like you know some turn of you know turn of a leaf i guess or sub-zero just says no all together and he just gets jumped by both noob and smoke at the same damn time so i feel like Noob is going to play a huge part in this game as well. Just as Jade, she's going to play a huge part in this game. Because these two have were not in Mortal Kombat X. And they really should have been in the game. And we're just going to have to see. We're going to have to sit back and watch. And see how things go from here on out. Because, you know, next month is E3. So hopefully it gets announced. I hope and pray it gets announced. Because I am so ready for this next Mortal Kombat game. Like, y'all don't understand in how high I am. Zero. Who are you to judge? I wore those colors before you. Bihan? Yes, Kwai Liang. It is I. Quan Chi restored me. Restored? You and I both. We are flawed copies of our former selves. I have no flaws. Quan Chi has perfected me. For what end? 
to serve the netherrealm and outworld. It suits my purpose. But brother, we, we are... share blood. We are not brothers. Then I will not regret your defeat.